Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Marketo Foo. My name is Joe Wrights, and today what we're going to talk about is bounce management. So uh, basically, any email marketer knows uh, when you have a big database of leads, occasionally emails can bounce for a variety of reasons. Uh, they could be hard bounces or soft bounces, which are basically um, a hard bounce would be there's something permanently jacked up, like we need to fix this email address or something. Um, a very definitive kind of failure. So you'd want to handle those different than say a soft bounce, which would be more of like a temporary failure. Like the mailbox might be full, you might get something weird with an out of office or something where the message was temporarily turned away by the, uh, the receiving server. So in terms of Marketo, uh, how do you do that? How do you make sure that your deliverability rates are above the common benchmark of at least 95%? And honestly, um, Benchmark should probably be above 97% for uh, email deliverability. And if you ever do find yourself on a blacklist, you want to be able to show to a, uh, as part of the remediation process that, that you are actively managing your database of leads. And a bounce program is a great way to do that. So uh, what I'm going to walk through in this video today is actually just a quick rundown of a very basic uh, bounce management program. It could, you could get more detailed around different bounce categories, and there's a whole whole level of detail you could peel back the onion on. But uh, for the purposes of today's discussion, I'm going to share my screen here. Cool. And uh, we see we're over here back in the Fathom sandbox, right? So um, I, I have another cleverly labeled uh, with our naming convention applied bounce management program. And then inside, I have a few smart campaigns as well as a list. So. I'll start with hard bounces just because they're a little easier to, to talk through. So like we were talking about, these were more permanent failures, right? So the smart list for these is a, a very basic one could be email bounces. And uh, when you do email bounces, when you search for these, these triggers in Marketo, um, there's two. There's email bounces and email bounces soft. Uh, there's also a sales email bounces soft. That's more of an MSI, Marketo Sales Insight thing. Uh, so don't worry about that one for now. But these two are the one that you care about. So email bounces is hard bounce or whatever. Uh, you can add, so once you bring that trigger in, that's that's the baseline smart list. Whenever an email bounces, uh, you'd want this to fire, but not just for one, right? Like you want to make sure that it's a repeating activity. So I err on the side of being very conservative with my data. Um, if you know, if I get two hard bounces within a 60 day period, uh, I, I like to add those constraints here, just date of activity and minimum number of times. It could be three times, it could be 90 days. It's whatever you feel comfortable with, but generally the more conservative you are, the quicker you're gonna get to the point of uh, having a cleaner database. And it also depends kind of on how often you send emails. If you send emails every day, then two bounces is nothing. Like maybe if you send emails every day, if you're a big, uh, say B2C kind of, uh, kind of implementation, you might, uh, you might say five bounces uh, because that would mean in a week you haven't been able to deliver an email. So that's probably a bad email address. Whatever it is, it's gonna have to be custom tailored to your business, but that's where you can add some constraints here and be smart about it. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to get into the detail, you could add bounce categories and you can actually add the, the value for the category there, like one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, so that's a whole extra ball of wax. But then the flow here for when you have these hard bounces, when they, um, when they bounce that many times in that given time period on any email, uh, we're going to change a few data values and then, uh, delete the lead ideally. So, um, just walking through this real quick, you want to mark them email invalid to true. Uh, just so if that email address ever did come in somehow, you'd make sure it was invalid. Uh, unsubscribe would also do that. Uh, but I, you know, it's, it's one of those things of like, yeah, unsubscribe would kind of catch all, but I believe in redundancy. So uh, let's go ahead and change the unsubscribe value to true, just in case someone else adds that email address on the Salesforce side and it comes back into Marketo. And then we're going to provide the reason that there was multiple hard bounces just so a salesperson or someone else could see that if uh, if if needed, or, or you know another marketing user, Marketo user. Uh, and then the last step would be to delete the lead. And what I would say here is there's another another cool um, cool thing you can do. Uh, you can set up a custom field in 
in Marketo that you can have in Salesforce that'll basically say sync with Marketo. And what I would do actually before deleting a lead is say sync with Mark or, or I'm sorry, sync with Salesforce. And I would I would check that to be false. I don't want this lead to to be deleted from Salesforce necessarily, but I do want to get out of Marketo because that's how uh, my database, uh, you know, my renewal when it comes time for renewal, how how pricing is calculated. Your database size is a big part of it. So you want to make sure you start to keep that clean. So uh, that's why I always advocate deleting a lead from Marketo, but not necessarily CRM. And you need a little custom field flag to uh, to be able to set that from Salesforce. So that's hard bounces. Uh, on to soft bounces, you'll see a couple things here. Um, the first thing is, so there's a bounce watch list here, uh, just a static list. And what we're doing is if the email bounces soft, so these are these these would be reasons for like, you know, like I said, out of offices or mailboxes full, uh, some other kind of temporary error. Um, we'd have a similar structure of, you know, I, I like 60 days because generally two months is, is a long time and keep the threshold low to qualify for this. But the flow here is a little different than a hard bounce because when they once they trigger it, we want to add them to this watch list, and then we want to mark the marketing suspended for you know 60 days. Make sure whatever temporary issues are happening have a chance to kind of work themselves out. And then that's what this wait step is about, is waiting another 60 days. So after 120 days, we set their marketing suspended back to false so they can start receiving emails. But they're also a member of this watch list. So there's a third smart campaign listening for if they bounce twice again and they're on this list, uh, that's what this says. So email bounces any twice member of this list. Then what we're going to do is go over. Oops, I didn't. I didn't build it out. <laughs> so what we're going to do is um, uh, same basic thing. We're we're going to as, as a hard bounce. We're going to change data value, and we're going to mark them unsub. Add another change data value for unsub reason. And because I like working backwards and being redundant, we're going to do uh, email invalid. Uh, say multiple soft bounces. True, true. And then for the last one, we're going to delete the lead. And like I said, I would, I would also add the flag here for um, you know, sync with Salesforce equals false so that they, we don't delete them from sales or just so, um, you know, they don't go back, they don't come back in from Salesforce. That's, that's what that's trying to prevent is that if you delete the lead of Marketo, it exists in Salesforce, but it doesn't come back into Marketo. That's the whole thing I was trying to say. So uh, I think I'm going to have to do a chat on that just to make sure that's extra clear. But basically, this is a very quick view through how to manage bounces, both from a hard bounce and a soft bounce perspective in Marketo. So you can get more complicated with it, more sophisticated, we'll say. But um, but that's the, that's the basics. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to hit them up in the comments or back on the Marketo Marketing Nation. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thanks.